welcome back to my channel. My name is Cher and today I'm going to walk you through wedding guest hair in under 10 minutes. We're going to do a little twist on a French pleat. This is very similar to the French pleat that you normally see in the middle of the head. Today we're going to go diagonally. It's perfect for shoulder length to mid length hair. It's a great updo for wedding guests. You don't have to worry about any curls dropping, any frizz. It's a classic look and it is absolutely timeless. All you'll need is some hair grips, a comb thickening powder, and hairspray if you wish. First thing that I like to do is brush my hair back, and I'm just gonna create a short parting. Having a short parting means that you've got more here to play with and give it a little bit of a lift at the back. I'm just gonna pop in some thickening powder. It has already got some in, and I'm just going to massage that in it sort of mats the hair together. You just want to smooth out the ends. You can do that with your hand or your comb. For this next bit, if you've got thinner hair to me, you may want to take up your half head from your ears and you can pin it there. I like to just lift mine up very slightly. Because my hair is so thick, I'm gonna do this in sections. So I'm going to take the crown area, which is running my fingers round, the shape of my head so I've got it there I'm just gonna push it up and that just gives you a nice shape because there's so much hair I like to use extra long hair grips for this part just make sure that that is secure so I've only pulled up just that first section now I'm going to just give this a nice shape a little bit of texture I'm gonna run my finger to my ear and just take that section, you don't need any other hair. Take your pin, what I like to do with my hairpins is go in one way, twist and go out the other side so that it really stays close to your head. So I'm gonna go in with my hairpin and now I'm just gonna twist. It really doesn't matter where that hairpin goes because you won't see it. We now need to do the same to this side. Try and keep it smooth, again, I'm trying to keep this quite close to my head just to help with the shape. I'm gonna push in, but I'm gonna twist my pin wherever it twists to. So I just put it in, twist it, and it's very, very secure now. I've got a little bit of a lift where I've pushed it up at the back. You may wish to tease just a little bit there just to give it a little bit more texture. Let's take our first section of hair let's say around an inch worth. You're going to pull your hair up, it's fine if it's curly, straight, and then once it's up, I'm gonna tuck it under itself. place a pin. So I've got my pin, twisted my pin, and I'm just going to insert that in to my head. Again, we're going up, tuck it underneath at the top, okay, that's two bits done. This section here is where I've put my half head up. I'm going to just do the same with that and then work on that underneath bit. Now I'm taking the main body at the bottom. Each time we lift a section up, we need to stay close to the roll before and come down slightly. And it's in. Don't worry about any odds and ends. So you can see here, there's a few bits of hair sticking out. We will just tuck those into the pleat. We're not going to pull this front section up, so you could just leave that to the side. I'll show you what to do with this piece in a minute. One big section, remember to take out your centimetre, centimetre and a half piece here. Remember what to do, just tuck it in 
to the roll, it's tucked in. So I'm gonna bring it up. You're making almost like a circle. Don't worry about the hair sticking out. And then I'm going to pop a pin in. This is the look at the moment. I've got a piece of hair here that's just come down. That's a shame. I will show you what to do with that. And then I've got this piece here and then my long piece. This section is from the roll that I have just done. So what you need to do is twist this into one sort of roll. Keep twisting and you're making a circle, circle, circle shape. You want to try and tuck it into the roll. Once you've got it there, hold it with your finger, put a pin exactly where your finger is. Right, we're looking good. We are looking good. Got a few loose bits and then I've got this one piece here. We're gonna come up diagonally across the head. And we're gonna tuck it into the top. Grab a pin. Put your hairpin into your updo just there. Then you'll want to assess it and just tidy it up. Some people like the wispy bits. You could curl these extra bits. I like mine quite pristine. So there's a few things that I need to do. Twist them, pop a little pin in at the end twist round, then all you need to do is tuck it into the hair. Nobody will know. Hairspray obviously helps as well. Right, that is the style. You may wish to have your fringe down or you may wish just to pop a pin in. I have this beautiful hairpiece by Penny's Petals. You can find her on Etsy. I will link down below. I'm going to pop this into my hair now to complete the look. When I was young, I had it all planned out. That something big was down the road. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and let me know if you try this hairstyle. I'll see you next time.